There's a lot of things that I wish I knew before I started programming. So in this video, I wanted to talk about them to let you guys know what you're going to be getting yourself into if you take this journey. And there's other YouTubers that have made this exact video. However, they kind of say generic things like burnout, imposter syndrome. And I kind of want to come at this from a life perspective and how this is going to impact your life over a long duration of time because programming is a long term thing. And yeah, before I start getting into it, I just want to thank the sponsor of this video, Aura. What is the state of your family's digital security? Because if that's not something you've thought about, you need to. If you're a victim of identity theft, it can lead to brutal consequences, not only for you, but also your family. This can include having to borrow money or take out a payday loan or selling your possessions to pay for these identity theft related expenses. And this will hurt your ability to provide for your family. And if you don't think this can happen to you, let me tell you that American consumers lost $56 billion due to identity theft in 2020. And one third of Americans have been identity theft victims in their life. And that's why I'm excited about this partnership with Aura. Aura is a digital security solution that protects your identity, online accounts, and devices all with one simple subscription. You will get alerted to fraud and threats fast, like if any of your online accounts or passwords were leaked, or for example, if someone tried to open a bank account using your name and social security number. Aura will also protect your devices from malware and encrypt your Wi-Fi so that you can shop, bank, and stream securely online. With an easy to use dashboard and alerts sent straight to your phone, Aura will keep you in control and guide you through solving any issues. All plans come with $1 million in identity theft insurance that helps you recover eligible losses. And they've got experienced US-based customer support that has got your back. So if you have a family worth protecting, definitely check out Aura, linked in the description. All right, so let's talk about all these things I wish I knew before I started programming. First thing right off the bat is it's not gonna be easy. Becoming a highly skilled programmer takes years and years of experience. It's a pretty competitive field and can be pretty stressful at times. Not to mention there are hundreds of different technologies you can learn and the landscape is always changing, leaving you alone to figure out what the best things to learn are at any given time. If you went to college for computer science, you probably noticed the huge drop off of students there is when you go from introduction to programming to something like data structures and algorithms. And trust me, that's for a reason. The truth is, coding is a field where you will face adversity and you have to overcome it. So it's not just something where you could expect to breeze through it effortlessly because you were good at math as a kid. That's not how it works. The next thing I wish I knew was not to get ahead of myself. Every programmer reaches that point in their career when they realize that everybody around them has built a bunch of impressive projects or accomplished so much more, and you start to feel insecure. This realization might push you to try and catch up by doing a whole bunch of things at once, but in programming, that's something you need to be careful of. Taking on too many things at once is actually a pretty common problem in programming, and when you take on too much at once, you actually end up doing nothing. The best way to learn and develop new skills is by focusing on one thing at a time, and also by not getting ahead of yourself. Learn the fundamentals, get those down, and then build on top of that. The next thing I wish I knew is that there's more to life. It's easy to become engulfed in the world of tech, especially when you have aspirations to be successful. You could essentially spend all of your time becoming better and better as a programmer. There's really no ceiling as far as how high you can go in tech. So if you're a competitive person, it's easy to develop an unhealthy obsession with getting better and better. And at a certain point, it might be draining all of your time where before you started programming, that's not what you wanted. So you should evaluate what your goals are before you start coding. The second thing I wish I knew before I started programming is not to waste time. When you're learning how to code, if you get the feeling that you're stuck and you're not understanding the material, that's probably because you're not. As you learn to code, each day you should be making noticeable progress, and you need to be comprehending the material that you're learning. Otherwise, you're wasting time. So if you're not understanding something, it's either because the resource isn't good, or you don't understand the prerequisite material. But personally, I've wasted a ton of time just rereading things over and over trying to understand things when realistically, I needed to take a different approach. I needed to go back and learn things that I didn't understand that led up to that point, or I need to find a different resource because the resource I was using wasn't teaching properly. Another thing I wish I knew before I started coding is that you don't need a college degree to become a software engineer and make the big bucks, like the six figures, 100K, 200K, 300K. When I was finishing high school, going to college seemed absolutely necessary. But over the past few years, the public perception of college has completely changed. And in the tech industry specifically, they're not going to require degrees at most places now. And this simply just has to do with the fact that you can be 16 years old and be a much better programmer than somebody that's 40 years old. So what's nice about tech is in most cases, you're going to be hired based on your knowledge and skill level rather than like credentials or seniority. 
So what I'd say is if you just want to be a software engineer or a web developer and make over $100,000, you certainly do not have to go to college to do that. Now, some people want to go to college and that makes sense, but mainly the point is just don't go to one that's going to put you in a large amount of debt when you actually don't have to go at all to get one of these jobs. You know, if you could afford it, that's fine, or get scholarships or figure out some way to go to college for free, you know, go for it. But yeah, don't put yourself into a large amount of debt when it's totally not required to get one of these jobs. And if you don't want to go to college, there's alternatives like boot camps and tech companies actually take those pretty seriously. But even without boot camps, you can do it all on your own, just online, and you can get jobs. I have plenty of friends that have done this. Just take some hard work and determination. The next thing I wish I knew is how important networking is. Not only will networking help you in your career, but it will help you learn new things. And in addition to that, I do kind of believe the notion that you surround yourself with people that you want to become like. So it should be a top priority to try and meet people as you learn to code. The very last thing I wish I knew before I started programming was you should make your own path. A lot of people come to me every day asking what programming language should they learn? Should they go to college? Which job should they choose? But the thing is, no single person should be the deciding factor for these major life decisions. That is your job to figure out. And a lot of people struggle with understanding this. Your goal shouldn't be to become exactly like somebody that you look up to and follow their path exactly. It should be to become the best possible version of yourself. And so if you wanna build a path for yourself, you need to sit down and decide exactly what kind of person that you wanna become. And then from there, there's millions of people online sharing their career stories and career trajectories. Spend some time talking to people or just listening to podcasts on YouTube or YouTube videos and understanding how people became successful. If you just do a little bit of research on your own, you could aggregate data, look at people's career paths from how they became successful, and then you could form your own from what seems appealing to you. But basically what I'm saying is don't just listen to what someone tells you to do with your life because you respect them. Because no single person on earth can predict the future and no single person on earth can tell you what you want to do. You're an individual. Decide for yourself. Anyways, those are most of the important things that I wish I knew before I started programming. So if you learned from this video, found something interesting or enjoyed it, uh, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel because it really helps out. See you in the next one. Peace.